Hello everyone, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Richard and today we are going to look at a very crucial, um, important aspect of Google Drive. Yes, if you are new to Google Drive, you might want to wonder how can you create a file and how can you share a file on Google Drive? And today we're going to make justice to this topic so that it becomes so clear to you and to anyone out there you might want to help get around Google Drive. So let's get to it. So as you know, the first thing you want to do is to um, go to Google Drive website to be able to access it. And if you don't know the website link, it's always best you go to Google and type Google Drive. So if you're here on Google Drive uh, page, on Go, you know, from Google page, just click on this first one saying personal cloud storage file sharing platform, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to start doing what you want to do. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the first link or you simply say drive.google.com. So this is where you're going to start using Google Drive. And to do that, you simply go to sign in. Simply go to sign in and then we're here. Now, this is Google Drive and we want to find out how to create a file and how to share a file on Google Drive. But first, what is Google Drive? Google Drive is Google's way of giving us 15 gigabytes of storage on Google Cloud. What does this mean? This means that when you are on Google Drive, you have as much space as 15 gigabytes to be able to save files, to be able to create files. It could be pictures, it could be documents, it could be presentations, it could be anything. And then you can save this on Google Cloud using Google Drive. This means that this is a storage you don't have to necessarily have on your PC or have on your mobile phone or on your devices. It is strictly on Google Drive. So that means you can simply just come to uh, drive.google.com and then you'll be able to use Google Drive for whatever you want to use it for. You can have this file here set up here. You can create document here and all of that. So that's about the introduction of Google Drive. So let's see, how do you create a file on Google Drive? In order to be able to create a file on Google Drive, you're going to use the new feature. This is a tool that allows you to do a lot of things on, on, on Google Drive. But before then, what actually is the benefit of Google Drive for you as an individual and maybe for a business? Well, the, well, the benefit is that your files are somewhat more safer because nobody has access to them except you unless of course your account was hacked so the only thing you're going to worry about is getting hacked but if your files were on your phone or on your laptop and then possibly you maybe they get stolen or they get damaged you could lose these files but because they are on cloud on google drive you get to enjoy them even if your device gets ruined you just have to you just have you just have to sign in and then you'll be able to find your files. So the other benefit of Google Drive is that you actually you will actually get to enjoy 15 gigabytes of free storage space if you're on the free account. And this is what you get to enjoy for using Google Drive free. And then the other benefit is that even in terms of emergencies, even in terms when people are being held for traveling with large documents and you know maybe traveling space. You can just have your file on Google Drive and travel to wherever you want to travel without anybody harassing you, asking you what you have there. So that's the benefit of Google Drive. So now let's see how to create and share a file on Google Drive. So how do you do that? In order to be able to create a file on Google Drive, you just have to go to your Google Drive dashboard. This is your dashboard. You can be at the home. You can be at the drive. You can be at the computers. You can be at the share. But make sure you locate the, the new tool this new tool once you click on it will allow you to select what you want to create if you want to create a folder do you want to up file upload do you want to maybe folder upload do you want to create a document sheets do you want to create slides or do you want to create forms do you want to create drawings and all of that and let's assume we just want to create maybe a document so in, in order for us to be able to create a document we just have to click on new and then we we'll click on docs when you click on doc it allows you to create documents and this is it so first things first 
you'd want to name the document. So I'm going to call it uh, Richard N's. Okay, let's say Richard N documents. Of course, this is one important aspect of your document. You have to name it. And then the next thing is to impute the text or format the text inside the document. So let's see how we can create uh, maybe our text inside the document. Remember, I've, I, you know, I've already named it with an end document. Now I want to put or impute text into this document. So I, I, I just don't want to just waste my time typing here. So I will just go to Gemini and copy some stuff that I will get from the tool. I will just get maybe I'll just get some text and then paste it right here so that I don't have to waste time, right? So let's get it. So um, in order for me to be able to do what I want to do, I just want to come here and then I should be able to generate some good text. So this is a text. And when I get this text, I'll just come here and then I'll come to my workspace on Google Doc and then I'll paste it. Now, this is a document and as far as I'm concerned, this document has been created and I can actually go back and go back to my go back to my Google Drive and then if I refresh this, I'm going to have Richard N document here. This is the document I created. I can even like open it. Now you can see it is open. So you see, we have been able to create a document or a file. This is actually a file on Google Drive. However, there are still another way of creating a file on Google Drive. This can be maybe you create a file outside of Google Drive and then you want to upload it into the Google Drive. How do you do this? What I mean is, for instance, I come here to my laptop and then I click on Notepad. I not, now this is my Notepad and then I want to create a file. So I can easily come here. This is a file and I can name it. Um, I can name it a uh, uh, new file and then I can save it. You see now, this is the file here, I call it new file. This is it. So let's go now to Google Drive and upload this file in. So this is our Google Drive and then we just want to upload the file in a way of creating the file within Google Drive. So we can just click new and then we can say file upload. And then the next thing we want to find out is where the file is located. This is it here. And then we we'll call it new file. And then we can upload it here. When you do this now, the file already exists on Google Drive. So you can just, you can see the file is here. So this is how to create a file. This is different ways to create a file on Google Drive. But before then, I'd like you to understand that when you create a file on Google Drive, it doesn't necessarily need to be a text doesn't necessarily need to be a document. It could be a picture, it could be a video, it could be a, you know, it could be a PowerPoint presentation, it could be some drawings, it could be maybe, maybe a computer edited design document that you want to just send to someone else. And then your sole end of putting it here is to ensure that this file is safe, it's secure and easily accessible so long as you have access to it and all of that. So now, Let's get to the point where we talk about how to share a file on Google Drive. But then, how do you share a file on Google Drive? Quite interesting question, isn't it? So right now, we have a Richard N here. This is a file. We have a new file, which is a TXT document or a TXT file. Then how do we share this? In order to share a file on, docu on, on Google Drive, what you have to do is click on the file and then get to the extreme. You're going to see things like name, reason suggested, owner, location. But then after the location, you look at the extreme right. You're going to find three standing dots here. When you find these three standing dots, you want to click on it. And then when you click on it, you come down, you're going to see share. When you see share, you have options. And the options will be to click to copy the link or to format your sharing. So when you format your sharing, it allows you to actually perform some extra maybe things before you share this file. So let's assume you just want to share the file and click on share. When you click on share this file, it's going to ask you to add people, groups and calendar events. But we don't want to do this. We just want somebody to have the link to this file and then be able to access this file using the link. Naturally, 
you might want to put the person's email address. Maybe I can just want to like, okay, let me share the file with a friend. And I will say, okay, Fred Strauss is my friend. So I'm going to invite them. And then after inviting them, I want to put a message. Uh, please uh, review this file and let me know what you think. Okay. Now I will send this file. My friend is going to get a notification that a file has been shared with him, and that is by email. But perhaps I don't want to share this file using my email. I just want the person to get a link and then be able to enjoy the file, whatever it is. So I can just click on this, then I will click share, then I will click on copy link. When I click on copy link, it will work actually, but that is not how the best way to share this file because when you do that, the file is going to be restricted but then how do you share the file in such a way that whoever has the link can access the file without restriction simply click on these three standing dots click on share click on share again now when you click on share again you ignore every other thing here you come down to general access when you come down to general access you click on restricted and then you change it to anyone with the link when you click on anyone with the link you go to the side and then you can decide is it the viewer commenter or editor the first one here being viewer means that whoever has a link to this file can view it second one means that whoever has a link to this file can comment on the link and then the last one being editor means that whoever has the link to this file can edit it which means this person can actually alter the entire do do document and then maybe maybe probably rewrite it or delete it or just whatever so this is it so because i want the person to be able to view it i'll st i'll stick with this view it or the viewer and then i'll click on done when i click on done it means that this file when i share it now or if i copy the link whoever has it can actually view it so let's see how this works so i'm going to a new tab and i'll paste the link and then you can see the file will actually be coming up here so let's see this is document i just uh you know created you can see it's called richard n document and this is it you can see i can actually see this but i cannot edit it if i want to edit it i have to request for access for editing uh, but that is not why we are here we are simply here to show you how to share a document on google drive so that is how to share a document on google drive but then somebody i want to ask what are other things i could actually do with google drive well in google drive you can do a lot of things you can actually get to see that this is your drive you can see other files here and then you can see if you have computers within your within your google maybe workspace you can actually see the computers here but then if other people shared maybe a document with you maybe your friend you work with in the same company actually has a document to share with you he has to create a file and then he will share with you here you find that in your shared folder and then if you work on any if you work on any document recently you're going to find that here to show you the day that the document was worked upon and then if you start any documents, you're going to find it under the start section. But then how do you start a document? In order to start a document, you just want to click on the name of the document, just put just hover on the document's name, hover on it, and then get to the extreme. And then at this point, you see a star, and then you see add to start. When you click on this, the document will become start, such that when I come to start, I will see that document. This means that this document has become one of my favorite documents and it's going to be like that. And then we have the spam. Spam is simply any any fake documents you get from people, maybe unsolicited documents that you get from people and all of that. And then we have trash. Trash is where everything that concerns your deleted files are found. In other words, when I come to my home file and then I come to this file and then I click on delete, if I click on this delete or move to trash, it means that that file will be sent to my trash. And then when I come here, I can actually see the file here on my trash. And then the storage. The storage shows you how much space you've used, how much space you are located as a free user, and the files you have here and whatever space they are occupying. Currently, this is my Google Drive and I have used 31.7 megabytes of space out of the 15 gigabyte that was assigned to me and then i have some files here which is best 
13 apps South Africa, and it is worth 451 kilobytes. I have Richard N document, and it is two kilobytes. This actually allows you to clean up the space by maybe maybe see removing everything and all of that, but we're not interested in this. So we just wanted to see all about sharing and creating files on Google Drive. But then there are still other things you might want to do here. Sometimes you might want to ask, how do you create a folder on here? How do you upload a folder on here? How do you create a sheet? How do you create slides and all of that? But that we are going to see in another video. For now, we just want to stick with how to create a file or how to create and share a file on Google Drive. And this is what we've done so far. So we thank you for your time. Remember, this is Fast Giddy YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you some excellent skills and helping you get hands-on experience on some tools and software. So do well to share our video with your friends, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us to click on the notification bell so that you can get notified when we make a next video. So thank you very much. See you some other time. Bye-bye.